Now it's time to install MySQL server. To install MySQL goes very quick. There is not any there is not much of configurations to do. And the first thing that uh, we want to do is to download the package. Uh, today the, the latest port of this is the MySQL 5.5 version and if there might be a little bit, uh, if this video getting old, there might be some other versions like 5.6 or something like that. So that might be a difference in the further times. But pkg underscore add r will add this package through FTP so it will download it very quick. Okay, so that was the installation. Now we type rehash to update on environment variables. Now we need to edit the etcrc.conf file to make it start on server startup. In here you add mysql underscore enable equals yes. And you write this. Now we should start the um, mysql server. You do it like this usr local etc rc.d mysql server start now we need to set a route password the local password you do it like this mysql admin and here is the password that you set because you set it between quotations and notice that I use a single quotation, uh, not a double, but we use two of these and we put the password between. So in my case, I'm going to put a very simple password, which is hello, for example. Uh, you better use strong password. And I have to say that I don't like this way to set passwords to them in the console, because that it's easy to read the history in the console and to get the password out. I will show you. Uh, this was setting the password, so now we can try to see um, to set our remote password. And this is my host name, by the way, for this machine. I'm going to use the same password. Uh, it's not a good practice, but I don't know, but I'm going to use it in this case. Uh, if you want to have another one, pick what you want. Here we have to enter the password, which we were entering the local one, which in my case now is hello. And now we have a local password and a remote password for MySQL. In case you need to change password for the local, you do like this. MySQL admin, you the user wrote, for example, password, and then you make like this. Here is new password. So that's how you do if you want to change password. The reason why I don't like to write password in a console like this is because of this. If you type history, you will see the history. You're able to clear the history. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Yeah, I think you do like that history with option C. Yeah, and it's um, and it's cleared. That's a security thing you can do on your local machine in case a person is going there locally to check what you have done there. Uh, so that's everything. Um, the MySQL is installed and it's running and during reboot it will start automatically since it, it's in the etcrc.conf. The next step we're going to install phpMyAdmin.